Russian President Dmitry Medvedev comes to the United States. Part of the visit is to introduce U.S. technology in the IT sector into Russia and to make a push to modernize the Russian economy. But Russian President Medvedev will also be meeting with President Barack Obama in Washington on Friday. The visit comes after Russia complied with the U.S. request to support the U.N. Security Council resolution against Iran. To understand Russia's interest in Iran, one has to understand that Iran and Russia are not natural allies. As a matter of fact, the U.S. and Iran are more natural allies considering the geography and politics of the Middle East than Russia is. The reason for this is because Iran and Russia actually have a geographical sphere of influence, if you will, over which they have often clashed, and that's really Central Asia and also the Caucasus. Therefore, Russia's temporary alliance with Iran is purely conceived as part of Russia's ongoing efforts to counter U.S. Uh, sphere of influence in both the Middle East, but more centrally in Central Europe. This is where Russia really hopes to expand. This is where Russia hopes to establish itself as the dominant power. And therefore, it's using its alliance with Iran as a bargaining tool against the United States. This is one of the moments when Russia feels that it is in its interest to be compliant and to accept Western demands, because in return, it expects to receive considerable technology, know-how, and investments from the West for its modernization. Russia still has some key levers, however, on Iran. The Bushehr nuclear power plant facility, and also the ability to send S-300 surface-to-air missile technology to Iran. As long as Iran is belligerent, and that belligerence depends on having allies such as Russia, then the United States' position in the Middle East is very complicated. Once it is clear that the United States is already disentangling from the region, Russia may choose at that time to give up the cards on Iran and make some sort of a grand bargain with the United States in the Caucasus and Central and Eastern Europe, and also Central Asia. But in none of those does an alliance with Iran really work. In fact, an alliance with Iran is probably doesn't make too much sense down the line for Russia because Tehran and Moscow both have designs on Central Asia.